Delaware Bay is New Jersey's largest estuary system. It is a semi-enclosed body of water on the southwestern coast of New Jersey where freshwater from the Delaware River mixes with saltwater from the Atlantic Ocean. It serves as spawning and feeding grounds, nursery areas, and migratory routes for many important recreational and commercial fish and invertebrates, such as striped bass, weak fish, American shad, and blue crab. Right behind me is our 46-foot research vessel, the James W. Joseph, operated by the Marine Resources Administration staff for Delaware Bay Trawl Survey. The survey initially started as a blue crab survey within the shallow near shore waters on the New Jersey side of Delaware Bay in 1980 and continued until 1986. In 1991, the survey was reinstituted as a juvenile finfish survey through funding from the WildPro Federal Aid to Fisheries Funds administered by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. The survey was designed to target residential or transient juvenile finfish species that inhabit the bay, mirroring a similar study being conducted by the State of Delaware's Division of Fish and Wildlife. Sampling stations were selected in shallow nearshore waters preferred by many developing larval and juvenile fishes. Data collected from this survey provides timely and accurate estimates of relative annual abundance to resource managers, which is necessary to protect future fishery trends and harvest potential. Since 1997, 11 nearshore stations have been sampled from the Cahansey River in Upper Bay, extending down to the Bills in the Lower Bay. Sampling is performed over shallow shoals, as this typically yields larger catches and greater species diversity than toes in deeper water. Sampling is performed once a month from April through October at each of the 11 stations within the bay for a yearly total of 77 toes. A 16-foot otter trawl is towed for 10 minutes at each station behind the RV James Joseph. When underwater, the otter trawl lead line remains in contact with the bay floor, while the float line buoys the top of the net and keeps it open vertically. While the trawl net is being towed, it funnels the catch into the rearmost section of the net, called the cod end, which is made of small mesh, where the fish are eventually collected and hauled onto deck. At the end of each 10-minute tow, the net is retrieved by hand and the cod end is emptied onto a sorting table. All fish collected are identified to the lowest possible taxonomic level, enumerated, and measured. Blue crabs and horseshoe crabs are two invertebrate species also sampled in the same manner with the addition of collecting sex data for each individual. When larger numbers of a single species are taken, 50 individuals are randomly selected and measured and the remaining individuals counted for a total catch. Lengths are measured in millimeters using fork lengths by measuring from the tip of the nose to inside the fork of the tail for species such as bay anchovy, and total lengths are used for species without fork tails such as the Atlantic croaker. Larval individuals that are unidentifiable in the field are kept and identified post-sampling in the laboratory. Annual relative abundance for all species combined and for each single species is calculated as the total number of individual fish collected over the total number of toes for each sampling year, also known as catch per toe. The same analysis is also conducted on each species by month and by station. Estuaries provide critical habitat at some life stages for most common sport and commercial fishes of the Atlantic coast. They serve as nursery areas, wintering and summering areas, spawning grounds and migratory pathways for many fishes of recreational and commercial importance. The success of a fishery will be contingent upon the survival of the early life stages and eventual recruitment into the adult populations. Therefore, effective management strategies are keyed to timely and accurate assessments of the annual reproductive success of a species as demonstrated by the status of its juvenile stocks. These assessments can provide resource managers with a means to measure annual recruitment and make predictions as trends and future harvest potential for a particular stock. Much appreciation is extended to the many employees within the Marine Resources Administration who assisted with sample collection throughout the seasons.